In this video we are going to declare our own service. But first, what is a service? Here is what the Symfony documentation says about services. Your application is full of useful objects. A mailer object might help you send emails, while other objects might help you save things to the database. Almost everything that your app does is actually done by one of these objects. In Symfony, these useful objects are called services and each service lives inside a very special object called service container. Since Drupal 8 is built on Symfony, the very same applies for Drupal 8. In this video we are going to write a service class, we are going to declare the service in services YAML file and test the service with the help of devel. So, here we have a Drupal instance installed with devel and develkint activated and now we're going to go ahead and create a simple module and we're going to create a service into it. That's perfect, so now we can go ahead and create our service class. So we're going to create a new class and we're going to create it under src and we're going to call it cow service. And into the cow service we're going to be writing php and we're going to have a class called cow service and we're going to have a namespace here that starts with Drupal then our module name Drupal up service and for our class we're going to say that this is uh, the call service is a simple example of a Drupal 8 service. That's perfect. And here we're going to have a private variable called sounds. And for a cow, we're going to have the sounds loo and of course the sound moo. That's good for now. And we're going to have a public function called say something and the public function is going to return this sound and array random from this sound so basically a random noise and here for the function we're going to say returns a call sound. That's perfectly enough for our service. So we basically have an example service. In order to declare it as a service we would have to create a new file and call it the name of our module dot services dot yaml. .yml and here we're going to say services we're going to say Drupal up service it's usually a good idea to prefix your service with your module name and we're going to call our service just cow and here simply we're saying where is the class for our service so we say class 
and it's under Drupal Drupal up service and call service there we go and that's everything we have to do let's go ahead and activate this module as we go to extend and search for our Drupal up example service so we're going to install it everything looks fine and now if we use the develop module and the execute PHP function in it we can just say here our service equals Drupal so just to test it we say service and we're going to use basically the same name that we declared here in the services YAML file so we say call Drupal up service call and we're going to use kint and simply say our service say something so we want our call to say something and let's go ahead and execute it and it works our call says moo so our service works let's go ahead and refresh resubmit and our call says loo so this means that our service was successfully declared and we were able to instantiate it with the help of the service container so if you like this video please check the links in the description like this video subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon in order to receive notifications thanks for watching